Hi, this is Manesh Patel with IMTF Trade. Today is April 6th. We're going to go through our weekly TNTs. We're basically forecasting the entire market for this week, last week, which was the trading week. We want to show you the results of our AI forecasting tool, the black bar. The way the system works is that you look for this black bar. On the next bar, you set up the orders. If it's a green shade background, you basically buy above the black bar high. If it's a red shade background, you buy below the black bar low. So let's go for the results. You're Australian here. This is a green shade you buy, but never triggered the order. So that was no trade. This one was a winning trade. It was red shade, so we bet on it going down. QCOM here was a winning trade. Moss here was a winning trade. MA, no trade here since it never entered. FXI is break even, so we do have money management built into the system too. Meta, Facebook, here was profitable. AGQ was profitable. HSCIC was profitable. Um, soybeans was no trade here at all. XLK, this was a losing trade. That's our first losing trade for the last week. VWO was winning. Silver was huge and that was up. Uh, SLV, the ETF for silver was up. And then CRM, this was a losing trade. So we basically, if you sum up the shade strategy here with TNTs, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine winning trades, two losing trades, and one break even. That's not bad considering the market volatility that you had where the markets were swinging up and down. If you want more trades and play a little aggressive, you could trade a no shade strategy where you look for a drawdown and then enter. If that's the case, this you could add these into your trading plan and what you would do is you get this would be a winning trade, that would be a winning trade here. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten winning trades there. You had one losing trade and basically three break evens. So that's if the, the no shade strategy where you're looking for a drawdown. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at Have a good day and see you next week on our YouTube videos.